might have to fix this thing and save him one more time. I swear I'm gonna go nuts. Yeah, I'll go and get something reliable. I give up. What the? Oh, I spent 10 years trying to make these things respectable. Now, Patrol Bogan's gone and got one. Who's that? Oh. Is that? Is that Tyler? That's Tyler Thompson coming you, down the road. You're joking. Is that Tyler? In a land cruiser? No way. Oh my god, I do not believe my eyes. Boys, get more of those rainbow LED whips. Tyler's bought himself a Land Cruiser. Yoo-hoo! That's right, folks. We bought a Toyota Land Cruiser. I calculated that I have been told 3,967,100,000 trillion something times that I should buy a Toyota Land Cruiser. So we have gone ahead and bought one. And well, I should say it's not even actually mine. It's Demi's car. So Demi has got herself a Toyota Land Cruiser. 80 series. Proudly supported by Ultimate 9, Tread, Opus Campers, Superior Engineering, and in part by. Now who's gonna do the run through? Are you gonna run through your car or am, I, or am I going to run through your car for you? I'll let you do it because that's just how nice I am. <laughs> yeah. So in five or six years of doing YouTube, whatever it has been, I have only owned and driven Nissans personally on this channel. So I had two Navaras and then I've had two Patrols. So I think it's gonna make a lot of people happy that we have finally branched out, got something different and a little bit of variety. It is a 1993 Toyota Land Cruiser. These vehicles were manufactured from 1990 through to 1998. Coil sprung front and rear, disc brakes front and rear, solid axle front and rear. So all the key components that you want to make an awesome four-wheel drive. The car actually came with this small child. <laughs> As you can see, the car is pretty well grandpa spec. I originally never was that much of a fan of the 80 series body shape, but it has grown on me and we really like it now. So we wanted something that was kind of a bit of a older classic four-wheel drive. That's most, that seems to be what we're into now. We'll do a bit of a run through tour of the car. Back opens up like this, whatever you call this way with a tailgate. We actually really like this, it's been awesome. We had a New Year's Eve picnic in the back of this car the other day and put blankets and stuff in there and laid out across it, it was super cool. Eight seater, so they fold down. You got three seats across the back there. Obviously, back row of seats here. This is the GXL model, whatever that means. The Sahara is the top spec in these, but the GXL is the one down below it. So it's yeah, got all pretty nice inside. It's all original. Very nice condition interior. All pretty factory other than the previous owner did put a like a touch screen Apple CarPlay head unit thing in there, double DIN unit, which we're pretty stoked about. Um, yeah, I don't know, Land Cruiser things inside here. It is an automatic, four speed auto. This one drives quite nice and you can build them a bit stronger if you're gonna be a bit hard on them off-roading. This is an all time four wheel drive, so you constantly got power going to all four wheels. But obviously you hit your center diff lock and then you got your low range here that you can put it into. Do you want to explain why we got an automatic? Because I refuse to um, stall every time I go to the traffic lights. Yeah, so we tried to get you to teach my GQ and it was going alright until I got turbo 35s 
huge lift, new clutch, and then it got too complicated. The clutch, the clutch got me good. Yeah, new clutch got your turbo just got a bit crazy. I prefer the tractor vibes. Yeah. And I prefer not stalling in a humongous monster truck with pink everything in the middle of town. Personally, I much prefer manuals, but Stemmy's car, so auto is what we got. She wants an auto. And you tried to talk me out of it. And I, I did try to talk you out. I tried to get you lessons and everything. Like, nah, nah, I am not doing it. Well, so now we have an auto. Well, better for me, anyways. Let's have a look inside the engine bay. At what engine <sighs> this thing is running? This is the mighty 1FZ petrol 4.5 litre engine. Now, why this engine? A petrol over a diesel? Why not the iconic Toyota factory turbo diesel, the 1HDT, whatever they are in the 80 series? Well, they're just a lot of money. For this uh, 80 series, we picked it up. Petrol, immaculate, grandpa spec, all in good condition for a pretty good price. And yeah, I don't know, asked around a bit, spoke around. Uh, they're still meant to be quite a good engine. Obviously a little bit thirsty is the main thing on them, but we may do something with this one day anyway. You know what I mean? I've like, got an engine swap, maybe. I'm definitely not talking about engine swaps yet when we just bought the car. Uh, turbo, Turbo 1F said. There's a few options there, but we've had a run through of the car. Let's answer, why did we get an 80 series? Well, first off, we saw this on the side of the road and I sent you a message being like, that's a nice car. And we looked into the price and it was pretty high at the time. We're like, oh, that's a bit too, it was a really nice car, but we're like, no, nah, it's a bit too much for a petrol 80. Yeah. And then I really wanted a 60, as everybody knows. Yep, Demi's very desperate for a 60 series. And I'll get one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be next. And the couple of 60 series that we looked at were full of rust. So we didn't want to keep just looking at rusty 60 series. And yeah, I don't want to just keep buying the same sorts of cars their whole life, Nissans. You know, every time you buy a new brand, new car, you get to learn a whole heap of new things and yeah, and spice life up a bit, not just do the same things all the time. And then the other couple of reasons being just sold the nav. We were down a car, we wanted sort of the next project, the next thing. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually chop it. So chop it into a three pieces. three pieces, space cab, some 42 inch tires, 10 inch lift, throw the DPF in the bin. Uh, I got in trouble recently for not having a DPF on my 1995 TD42 GQ Patrol. So big 17,000 horsepower turbo on a, I don't know, just all the good stuff, keep it basic. It's only a daily driver, get it to the shopping centers and back. Jokes, we're not actually doing that. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. We're still figuring that out. Probably what we want to do with initially is we're going to get some nicer suspension under it. It does ride very rough. Maybe some nicer tires and wheels. We want to throw that bull bar in the bin. Don't really like that one. Either get like a nice sleek bull bar or even put a factory bumper back on it. Well, we want 35s, but also it's a bit impractical for a daily driver. So, so we'll, we'll see. So we're getting 35. So we're getting, 30, <laughs> so we're getting 37s. <laughs> yeah. Make it more practical, you know? <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be more touring nice looks. Not this car. We're going to try and keep this one nice. We're going to have the two patrols for bashing around the bush. This is going to be a nice one and do some more touring style trips in it. In the beginning anyway. Maybe one day we'll send it to space or something. Like probably some beach driving. Yeah. Nice little setup in the back, romantic getaways, yeah. picnic lunches. Yeah, weekend getaways. You know, might take it down to high country to do some scenic stuff at some point, things like that. The other thing we have to do is this is Queensland Rego. So we've got to change in New South Wales, which does require a blue slip. There's a couple of things I've got to fix up. I've ordered a new driver's seat belt, it's a little bit frayed. The exhaust, full of holes, blows air out everywhere. So I'm currently in the process of getting new exhaust. That's probably going to be one of the first mods, just because I need it to pass blue slip. So does anyone have a front bumper for these? Because we may need one. We also probably want a new grill. That one's bit old and crappy we just want to make it look nice you know nice nice and, nice and fresh freshen her up give us some bit of love pastel pink hot pink rose gold rose gold that's a personal favorite purple of everyone's. yeah everyone loves the rose gold maybe i should just do that all over yeah rose gold just we can we can probably paint ourselves with a with a paintbrush I reckon. Yeah, that'll look real good. Some Crayola paints, we're good to go. <laughs> yeah. There's also a couple of leaks in here, just Toyota life I guess. The steering box is leaking and I think the sump's leaking. I might have to pull the sump off and reseal it or something. But that's her. Her, him, is it a her or him? What are you going to name her, him? 
Not sure. I wanted a Katie the 80, but... It's a bit lame. You know, you know why. You know why. I don't actually know why. Anyways, that's her. Him. Let us know what you think. What should we do to it? Uh, tell us what you reckon and we won't listen because we're going to do what we want to do. But also, some tips would be nice because yeah, you know, we, we haven't owned a 80 yet. That is very true. That is very true. We'd love uh, any tips, tricks, uh, things to look out for, yep. deals, specials, important mods, all that sort of stuff. Dragon people, dragon people will be happy or annoyed that we finally got a Toyota. Dragon Toyota people will be happy or they'll be like, get out of here, you don't deserve a Toyota. They'll be like, oh my god, Tyler Thompson's got a Toyota! And maybe all the Nissan fans will be like, you're dead to me. They would be. They <laughs> you're will. dead they, to they me. They will be. Like, you've, you've gone. You've, you've changed. You've changed. Unsubscribing. You've changed. I liked but, it when you used to drive Nissans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I liked it when you used to drive Bring Patrols. Bring back the Nissan. <laughs> Bring back the Patrols. One last thing, we've had the car for like two couple weeks now. And you've been driving around, how do you like it? First yeah. review, two week review on your 30 year old Andy series. Um, well, when she turns on, <laughs> yeah, she, didn't, she's didn't a good turn time. on today when you wanted to come out here, you <laughs> Had know. To put it in neutral and put it in park. Thanks, Nick. Thanks, Nick. That's um, just Toyota stuff, I guess. Well, yeah. Um, my thoughts it's good, drives pretty rough, but you know, she's spacious and she's a bit slow. Oh, she's slow, <laughs> very slow. She is Low. So maybe that turbo will be next week. Well, you know, it doesn't matter if I go from 0 to 80 in 17 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You, you... It's Toyota things, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The last thing I just remembered is this car was one owner. So we're only second car, second owner of this car. It has a full service history. The engine's in very healthy order. The paint is very, very nice for a 30 year old car. Uh, so yeah, it, it's, uh, it's a pretty good condition 80. That was one of the things that drew us to this one. Just sort of mention that before the episode ends, boy. Mate, for years you've been digging yourself holes deeper and deeper with all those patrols, so much so I bought your bloody excavator. Turns out you might not need them given what you just bought. Welcome to the Toyota Club, buddy. Good work, Tara and Demi. They won't let you down, but I hope your paint's better than mine. Has he actually made a good decision for once? That's bloody unusual. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. <clears throat> now look, I don't know a massive amount. Now look, I don't know a massive amount. Now, why this engine? Now, why this engine? Daily the turbo. Daily driver <laughs> number three. Yeah. See if we can actually keep this one as a daily driver. Well. <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't say that, you should just, just cut out the part about this. Daily driver. Yeah, because it's never going to happen. Because we always say that and then it's like, 17 inch lift, and then 72 tyres. He's done it. He's bloody done it. Tyler's bought a Land Cruiser. Guess we can throw out all these Nissan patrol parts then. Oh no, the patrol bogans discovered bloody Land Cruisers. That's going to ruin them too. Oh, he's ruined enough cars. Leave us out of it. Jesus. That might be the smartest thing I've ever seen a Bogan patrol owner ever do.